One thing that you learn in football very early on is you really need to be resilient in the sense that you're going to get beaten. It's a zero sum game. This sort of toughness and resiliency, I think has served me well in math. You're trying to solve some open problem that no one else in the world has ever been able to solve before. And it's hard. John Urschel's bond with numbers began as a kid in the grocery store. If I could sort of say the amount of change my mother would get back from whatever amount she gave them, I would get to keep the change. And so this is sort of the game we played, and this was a much better way to get allowance than like, you know, doing dishes or mowing lawns or things like that. His father had another idea for young John. He played college football at the University of Alberta. And in many ways, I wanted to be just like my dad when I grew up. And so when I got to high school, it was just very natural for me to start playing. From the Friday night lights in Buffalo to the legendary field at Penn State, where Urschel played as an offensive lineman when not obsessing over proofs. After graduating, he was drafted into the NFL by the Baltimore Ravens, but first the team's general manager had a question. What did Urschel love about football? What was your answer? Uh, I love football. I love playing it, and it's something that, you know, I really want to do. I want to continue to play football and play it at the highest level. Unlike math, a challenge to the mind, football tested his body. A lot of broken fingers, a lot of them bend in strange ways. There were concussions, two of them. One occurred at Ravens training camp August 2015. Tell me about that. What happened that day? Yeah, I, uh, I took a hit to the head and I, uh, I got a concussion. And uh, I was out for a couple weeks. Like I, uh, you know, I couldn't play football. I had a hard time doing math. It was, it was really a frustrating time for me. But uh, I was really sort of, uh, I was really glad that uh, I recovered quite well. And uh, afterwards I was fine. Then a study in the New York Times found 110 out of 111 brains of NFL players had CTE, a disease possibly caused by repeated hits to the head. It helps Urschel rethink his future stay in the NFL and risk more injury or focus on his expanding family and his budding math career. I'm happy to have been able to play football at the highest level and be done. And I can walk, I can run, my knees feel great, you know, I'm sharp mentally. And uh, most people who retire from the NFL cannot say these things. Urschel, now 27, still loves football but this academic says the sport needs a better understanding of concussions. What if it turns out, though, it really is bad to knock heads? Then to we play should know. Football? Then we should know. I mean, you know, given the option of knowing something or not knowing something, I'm generally almost always in favor of sort of knowledge. But it might mean that a young John Urschel never gets that chance to play football like you had if someday our knowledge of concussions ends the sport as we know it. I, uh, I highly doubt that's going to happen, but uh, if it does in the pursuit of sort of more knowledge about sort of how our brains work and just more knowledge of, you know, how things work in this world, I'm okay with that. Urschel, set to get his PhD in mathematics next year, now focuses on becoming an inspiration off the field. There's so many young, brilliant minds being born into this country where they're being born into the wrong household the wrong area, the wrong educational system. And these minds are being lost. And it's not just a disservice to them, it's a disservice to us as a country because we're losing young, brilliant minds who could be the next von Neumann, the next Einstein. And for somebody that says, well, I want to be a football player instead, you are an example that you can do both. Yes, yes, that's true. To be healthy, to be finishing my PhD in math at MIT, and raising my little one, like uh, I'm actually like getting my cake and eating it too.